Hey everybody, it's Rich Brooks from Flight New Media talking Twitter again. Uh, in our last video, what we did is we took a look at how you set up your Twitter account and how you kind of pimp out your page. And we're going to take it to the next step right now and we're going to talk about how you find and follow people on Twitter. So, as I talked about last time, one of the things you want to do before you start, start following people on Twitter is you really want to personalize your page by filling in your bio information, by uploading an image, and my other recommendation is probably you want to do five to ten tweets before you start following anyone but your closest friends. And that's just a good idea because one of the things that happens when you follow somebody is they get an email saying you're now following them. And their natural reaction is going to be to go check you out. And if you have a generic icon up there instead of your, your face or you haven't filled out your bio or you only have one or two posts or tweets, they're not going to be interested to follow you back. So really get your page ready before you start following anybody. All right, well, when you are ready to follow somebody, you want to start with your friends. So you come up here to find people. And in find people, the first thing you want to do is you want to invite people from other networks if you have them. Now, if you happen to have an email account at Hotmail, Yahoo, AOL, MSN, or Gmail, this makes the whole job easy. You put in your Gmail address, your password, click on continue, and Twitter will go out and find all the people on from your account that are already on Twitter, and then you can determine whether or not you want to follow them. Another thing you can do is if you don't have one of these services is click on invite by email, and then you drop in your email addresses, and you can invite them uh, through Twitter by email. That's another good way, especially if you don't have one of those Gmail type accounts. And the third way to find out if your friends are on Twitter is to use the search box. So what you can do here is you can put in a location. You know, I'm always interested in following local people, so I put, might put in Portland, Maine or Maine, or I might do a search on somebody, say, Sibel Brooks, to find out if she's already on Twitter. So I click on search, And sure enough, Sabelle Brooks is on Twitter. And if I know I want to follow her, I can just click right here to follow, or I can view her page, see if I like what she has to say, and go ahead and click follow. And so now I'm following Sabelle Brooks. Another thing you may want to do to get outside of just your immediate group of friends is start following who they're following. So on the page, I can see some of the people that Sabelle is following. So I might click on one of their little avatars. Now, it happened to be that I'm already following my friend Des Walsh, but if I wasn't, I'd be able to follow him right here. And you can just go through and keep on going and finding other people that people are following and choose to follow them. Another tool that helps you find people that you might be interested in following is the search.twitter.com tool, which used to be called Some Eyes, and a lot of Twitter people will still refer to it as Some Eyes. And from here, you can search on any tweets, any posts that people have put up. So where, you know, whether you want to find people who love Guitar Hero or Spider-Man or talk, find one of these tracking um, trending topics, these are all ways of finding people too. And so you might do something like, oh, I really want to find out who's a Guitar Hero fan and connect with these people. And you can start to then, if you're interested, you can just click on their link and read more about these people. Or you can come back here and do another search. Maybe you're a company, a corporation, and so you want to find out who's talking about your product and engage these people. So I can find all the people, okay, this Dan DeRosset loves Red Bull Cola, so I can come in here and maybe if I was Red Bull, I'd start following him or engaging him. So that is how you find and follow people on Twitter. In our next episode, we're going to talk about how to get people to follow you back, which is really great because then you're really starting to leverage the power of Twitter, engage people, and start to build relationships, and it becomes a much more rewarding experience for you. Until next time, I'm Rich Brooks, and you can find me at Twitter at twitter.com, the Rich Brooks. So go ahead and follow this guy. Talk to you soon.